coconut. I'm about to do a quick little one too. I'm gonna hang out with the kiddos and my mother for Mother's Day, since I'm not gonna be here on the actual day. So, just gonna do a quick beat and then head on out. I'm not a makeup artist, so don't come for me. I hate when I'm looking for something and it should be right there. I feel like people be stealing my stuff, but when I ask them, they say they didn't. But a rum. Where is it? <laughs> this is some weirdo stuff. This is weird. Oh, there it go. I found it. <laughs> I used, um, what is that? Shoot, I ain't got no. Lancome. Can you see? Lancome. Lancome. Just to kind of color correct. Yeah. Do not do all of this because I like my stuff to be smudged in. Get into it. And then I'm just going to put on like a um, tinted moisturizer because I'm not like on TV or anything on stage. By color, what is this? By ColourPop Pretty fresh and i use this in the summertime or when i'm just going to top golf <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you how many pumps to use. You can use as many as you want. I did like two I think so I'm about to do another one. So that's three three pumps. orange on camera but it's really not huh? little contour I gotta go out of town for Mother's Day and work I ain't mad cause if I was here I would just be well, I would go to church then come home not do nothing like I said it ain't like say no full beat for me this is just like a little one too go out with the little kiddos you know what I'm saying I wish Beyonce knew that one of her biggest fans lives in my house. Right here in my house. I wake up to Beyonce. I go to sleep to Beyonce. Thanks to the little boy upstairs. I look like the Lion King, don't I? <laughs> I want to send much love and blessings to those whose parents whose mother is no longer here with us this will be my first mother's day without my cousin sheila you know we definitely want to do something with the kids i never want them to forget about her or anything like that and this could be a really sad and hard time for them so just trying to keep them busy keep them happy because um it's still a grieving process the kids are still you know they talk about it every day so I just want them to be okay. And um, I gotta check on my friend Latroy because his mom passed when he was like 16. So it's a hard time for a lot of people. So check on your friends that no longer have their moms with them. I learned to do make my own makeup because a lot of people are a lot of makeup artists don't really know how to do the chocolate girls they don't know how to match you up. I'm always coming out a shade darker and I'm like, can you see that ain't my color? So I'll just learn how to do it. And this is, a, like I said, this is supposed to be a quick 30 minute beat. Ain't much to it, but, but to do it now. When I'm really going somewhere, I'm on here for about an hour or so, making it do what it do. And I'm about to put some powder. This is my favorite powder, Benai Topaz. And it is so hard to find now. I used to get it from Amazon or go to the site, but they don't have that color like they used to. Bam! Take that shine away. So yeah, I'm getting ready for tour. Been back in the gym, trying to build my stamina. The kids I ain't had no stamina. I don't know who them kids are, but yeah, I'm going back. I've been in the gym, trying to build my stamina up. Going on this tour with Jodeci and um, Drew Hill. You know them fellas gonna bring it and the ladies always come to see the fellas, so we gotta work a little harder. Here's another product I wish they didn't stop making. I wish they still made it. The CoverGirl Queen Collection. 
I'm on my last little leg with this one here, honey. But I held on to it for as long as I could. Bring it back. Cover girl. Can I get my own line, cover girl? It could be for the women 50s and up. You young girls can get on it, but you know. <laughs> this new 50 is it. I remember like when I was young, I'm like, oof, I do not want to get no 50 years old. That is so old. My goodness, what I'm going to do? Now I'm 52, going to be 53, and I'm loving it. I'm like, yes, bitch, you look good. But I have good jeans in my family. My, to my, oh, this is Fenty, Fenty Beauty. I, you know, I don't know how you have the Fenty Beauty. Rihanna, she another one. She done sold me on everything. My eyebrows. Fenty. Fenty. Fenty this. Fenty that. Fenty, Fenty, Fenty that. Gemini season is approaching. Is it here now? I don't remember. I don't know what I'm going to do for my birthday. I don't really have no plans. I'm a, I want to go see Usher, but he don't have no shows on that day. On my birthday. It's like right after my birthday. I need some new friends too because my friends is getting boring. I need to clean up my makeup table because this thing is dirty. And I would ask Jay to help me, but honey, half my stuff be gone if he did it. See, it's a little quick one too. I ain't take all that. This is my favorite spray. <laughs> oh, where's the spray? Ooh. show y'all who the it says group black I'm gonna give myself a little bit of blush and then I'm gonna be ready this blush is NARS it's old it's broken up it's old let me tell you something I could tip some what is this is this the same thing this is NARS too I love NARS I love blush. This is Naked Urban Decay Illuminated. This is so old, but it is so bomb. And no wonder I couldn't find it in the store. I was looking for the wrong name. I thought this was something else. But I invited my friend today, but she probably ain't coming because she be acting funny too. So I need some new friends. I'm about to put an ad in the paper for some. I'm going to line my lips with this Huda Beauty Lip Contour 2.0 Rich Brown. It's hard to make it without glasses on. So Jay is going to the Beyonce concert. I got him four tickets. I spoiled him too much. So I didn't want him to go by himself. So he's going to take three of his friends and they're going to go. I'm going to tell you where they're going, but they're going. I'm going to put on my clothes and then I'll be back. And then, y'all. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Got my clothes on. <laughs> Woo. This is too raggy. Ooh. <laughs> put some gel over there, baby. Put my earrings on. Now I'm put this melted. Ooh, Too Faced Melted Matte. This is like my favorite. Jalen is playing his music so loud like nobody else lives here but him. Mind you, we got three floors. <clears throat> I'm on the second floor. Me, the kids, and my mom. And Jalen has a third floor to himself. He act like he got the whole house to himself. It is like a technique to this lipstick that I ain't yet got, but it's gonna be what it's gonna be. This is Elf. I love Elf, but I don't know what the name of this is because I don't have my glasses on. Mmm. So what y'all think? Did I do it or did I not do it? I gotta put lay this down. I gotta go get my gel and lay this down. a little gay because I got to keep my dogs in. I'm going to get my hair done when I get to Atlanta. A young man named Step. And I cannot wait because he is so bomb. Is my hair bomb? Do I look bomb? I got to clean up my house. I got to clean up my room, not my house. Cause... So we're here at Top Golf. 
celebrating Mother's Day with the ugly people. Hi. I think I'm gonna give me a white man today. Black people gonna be acting right. Looks like too. Hey, you still got an attitude? Good. Say hello. Some kids I'm trying to get DJ a girlfriend. Yep, you're a twin. Okay. Aww. She hit somebody else. <laughs> Do that for Aunt Tiba. Put it on the thing. Yeah. Nobody told you to go over there. Spanish well, but I throw a little something in there. But anywho, yeah, I'm back now. And guess what? I bought myself something for Mother's Day because I like to trick on myself. I don't wait and depend on nobody to trick on me. I trick on myself. And today, I want to be single. I'm a Gemini, so today I'm single. I might, yeah. Yeah, I'm single today. Maybe tomorrow, too. I don't know. So let me show you what I bought myself. One of them already open, but. These are J.W. Anderson. Look at that. This gold hardware is so sexy. And it's not a high heel, you know. I'm getting older now. So this is so nice. I had to have these shoes. So this is one of the gifts I brought myself. Ooh, what did I get myself? Oh, my God. I love gifts. Surprise myself with. Another denim. I love denim. I've been on denim before everybody started getting on denim. It's the um, it's a JW Anderson bag, but this gold hardware right here. Look at that. It sold me. And it's cute. It ain't real big on the inside, but it'll do. It'll do. But this is real cute, ain't it? If the only name brands you know is Gucci, Louis, and Prada. You need to step your game up because it's a whole bunch out here. J.W. Anderson is banging. And it's not its not a super expensive brand. Well, not to me. I think this bag was $900. i am not even sure. But that's not too bad to me. The shoes maybe were like $600. That's not too bad to me compared to some of the other brands. But this is what I got myself for Mother's Day. 
And then mm -hmm, we're gonna make it match gold, the gold, and the, yeah, denim, denim. And we're gonna make it match. Nobody's denim be matching these days anyway. But that's what I did for my stuff. I think you should treat yourself. Don't cheat yourself. Because you know, if you don't love yourself, who in the hell will really love you? And the saying goes, you gotta love yourself before anybody else can love you. You understand what I'm saying? I trick on myself all the time, but it's Mother's Day. It's a special occasion. I'm gonna get what I want. I'm happy. So now I'm gonna go pack my bags because I gotta go out of town tomorrow. An actual Mother's Day. SWV has a show in Texas. Keith Spitter, I don't know who else is on the show. But yeah, so I'm gonna pack my bags and I'm gonna hit the road, Jack. Oh, this is so nice. Nobody really ever thinks about us on Mother's Day when we're working. So this is nice. Did you do uh, this? This is for you guys. Thank you. Be all about. Thank you. We appreciate it. And it's not all. We got more. We got more. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We got more. Uh -huh. Thank you. So you can't get away. You still got another. Thank you. Welcome to Austin. Thank you. Happy Day. Thank you. So it's Mother's Day. I made it to Austin, Texas safely. Got me a nice hotel because they don't always give us nice hotels. But yeah, I'm here. I wish I could be home with my family. Just, you know, hanging out with them. But tonight, duty calls. It's a little dark, ain't it? Let's see if I can turn, open this thing up. little area over here if I had somebody with me I would go out and take a walk but I don't just be walking by myself cuz paranoid <laughs> y'all like my hat this hat is so dope you know New Yorkers we keep the tag you know that's what you know it's official when you got the tag a rebel customs she made this hat for me and a few others I will uh, link her uh, whatever I'm trying to be YouTube savvy I will put her information up there and if y'all want to check our hats out and go get one, go get one. But, you know, I'm in this hotel by myself and, you know, my um anxiety gets the best of me sometimes. So, what I did was I got me a little extra safety precaution going on. I got this and I got this. This is a portable lock security plus. Because I, I watch a lot of YouTube and a lot of times the people, you know, the young ladies are talking about how they check in the hotel and guys are trying to, is that, is that, yeah, that's my suitcase. We're trying to come in the room, you know, they know how to get past that, that one lock that we put on the door and we think we so safe and secure and we not. So I got my own little, look, my own little thingy here. God knows I don't know how to work this, but we're going to, we're going to try it and we're going to see how it works because I'm going to lock myself up in here. Just hopefully I, you know, I don't lock myself in here like that. And then I will be able to get out in time for the show. They ain't gonna understand that the girl locks herself in here. But, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this. Because I don't be all, I don't always feel safe in these hotels. Sometimes, I'm gonna go, you know, my mind is all over the place. Sometimes I watch uh, other people's YouTubes, J. Michael, my son included. And it always sounds like they're singing a song. Sometimes you want to go like this, and I want to go like that, you know. And how come you want to do like that, you know? You don't even talk like that regularly. Speak how you speak. It's just funny. And everybody on YouTube just talks the same. I want to go like that. And I'm like, eh. So I was over here. And I... No. I ain't talking like that. Okay. Okay. So I'm over here at the door. And um, we're going to try to do this one first. But I remember because I seen somebody do it. Uh-uh. That ain't it because it ain't going in. Child. Uh-uh. Mm. Let me go look at the directions because I might be doing something wrong. Oh, ain't no directions. <coughs> yes, it is. I know this is not in no ch in Chinese. Oh, I don't understand this. I have no idea how this is going to work because it don't fit in the dough. But it's supposed to. <laughs> got me stuttering i'm gonna have to look at it again once i um get my glasses on because right now i cannot see i'm gonna check it out and see if i know how to work it or whatever because i spent i paid my good coin for this and i was feeling really like safe <laughs> safe when i bought it and Jalen is not here so i it's, uh, i don't always figure this stuff out by myself but i know i can do this so all you got to do is stick this under the dough on off it's off oh i don't even know what 
I don't even know what the on and off is for. Medium, large, child. Ugh, I don't know what I'm doing. It's a on or medium, large. We're going to work it out. And I'm going to be safe tonight. I'm going to feel safe. You know what I mean? But anywho, yes, yeah, so I'm out here. Happy Mother's Day to all the beautiful mothers. Happy Mother's Day to the moms who are no longer here with us. That's it. I'm here. Ready to do what I do. I'm not in the best of moods, but... I'm going to make it do what it do tonight. It's my job. My throat is giving me a little issues. My little, look at my little, my little, my little neck. Just little. And I need y'all, like, my coconuts, y'all ain't praying for real. I just be auditioning and auditioning and auditioning and auditioning. I haven't learned anything yet, but I know it's near. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. It's near. I'm going to get me a good part. And I cannot wait to share with y'all when I get this role. You know? But I haven't given up. I am still auditioning. And with this writer's strike, it ain't helping me none. But God knows best. You know what I mean? I'm jumping all over the place because I don't care. I don't get up here all the time and talk to y'all. But I have a question. And I need y'all to leave in the comments. Do two-faced people know that they two-faced? I, I, and I don't mean like, cause y'all be trying to say Gemini's a two-faced. I'm not two-faced. I said it, I said it, I meant it. That's just me. I'm not a good liar. So if I said it, I'm gonna let you know I said it. But I want to know, like, do two-faced people, do they know that they're two-faced? Like, all right, I'm in here. I got to do a little shump shump for my hair tonight. But I have to go to New York. No, I have to go to Atlanta next week because SWV is being honored at the Black Music Honors in Atlanta. So I'm going out there and <laughs> I found, oh my God, y'all. I found this guy on Instagram. He's a barber, but he not only cuts hair, he colors it as well. And baby, when I tell you, he does the damn thing. I fanned out and I reached out to him. I was like, can you please do my hair? So he squeezed me in. Like, I feel like I got a hunt for a garbage can in the bathroom. He squeezed me in and I am going to get my hair done. I need it. He's going to bleed because my hair is blonde right now, but I want that platinum in my hair. So he's going to give me platinum. I need to get some of my, some buy my own clippers and clean this up, baby, because this right here is, I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to put a little bit of mousse. It's wrapping, what is it? Wrap me foaming mousse, a lot of body. <laughs> you see this? This is what I'm going to put on my hair. I just got a little system to what I'm doing, y'all. It works for me. I like the short hair. I, I was so scared at first when I cut my hair. I was like, I don't know. Then a lot of times, you know, you want to do something, but you don't know how the people are going to receive it. A lot of people talk trash about my little hair, but I don't care. I like it. A lot of people did not say a thing, honey. <laughs> there we go. There she go. All right. Now I'm going to put me some gel in my hair. I lay this sucker down. That is the real trick. This mousse is cute. This eco gel, this eco gel is the trolls rules. Especially when, you know, well, my good um for this hair because it's blonde, so you gotta be careful with the colors you put in it. But I can't wait to get that bleach blonde. Oh my god, that is gonna be so hot. I've been wearing that plat the platinum blonde, that's what I'm saying. Y'all got me hype. This haircut makes me happy. It's easy. Throw it on my head. I mean, you hear me? I throw it on my head. And I hate when I can get my hair one time how I want it, and then I can't get it the next time. That pisses me off. Put some gel on that bitch. And I try to get these these edges i just try to get everything because i really hate when it be sticking up but after something like after a while it just be it get hot or something it just sticks up i don't like that like I, this is the first time i've used that lot of body lot of body thing and i kind of like that i like it better than the one i was using i don't care what they say 
I like smell a boy. And that's all that matters. You like it? That's what matters. I always say people gonna talk about you either way. Do what you gonna do, cause they gonna talk about you regardless. They talk about me so damn much. I done heard so many rumors about myself. I'm like, damn, I did that? And it come from the people that you know the most. People who closest to you. I'm fucking this here up. Oops. See, that's the thing, I get it, and then I wanna be extra. Come on. We gonna put this on to see how it look, and then I'll fix it then. Right now, I'm getting tired of My hair just waving up. And I don't even have a good hair like that. Oh, thank you, Lord. So that's my little one-two that I do with my hair. I'm crazy. I'm excited because I'm going to get it done. And I can't wait because I want that white hair. I should come out with a line of do-rags, right? That's what everybody do. Once they start doing something, then they go get best in it. Done today, when I get there, I can't, I can't wait. I'm excited. She's always trying to be like me. And then what's next? She gonna get my mic? I got that mic. It's probably mine. This is mine. Well, I have one. This is nice. Oh, and I could film a video in here. What's these numbers? Your telephone number. I made it to Atlanta. Jack. Now I'm going to go and get my hair cut and dye riding. I'm not fried, but dye. Uh, <laughs> and um, I want to see Step the Barber. And I'm excited because I love his work. So I'm all done and my hair is hilarious. Look at it. And I was like, I want a nice part. Y'all see that? Step the book there. Ooh, nice head like I wanted it. Step to his thing, y'all. <laughs> he did that. I like this. My chocolate chip. My hair feels so nice and soft. So yeah, I was in there all day. Well, majority of the day. I flew in, my flight landed at 11 something. By the time I made it to the hotel, I had enough time to put some eyebrows on and um, go to see a uh, step. And I was in there for most of the day, majority of the day, then I went out to eat, but I'm very, very happy about my hair. I'm loving it. And um, I can't stop looking at myself. I keep looking over there, but I should be looking over here. Can't stop looking at myself, and I can't wait till I get, you know, my professional beat. Because I know it's going to look like... Mwah. I'm trying to figure out, is there something else going on here? Because I see a lot of gospel artists downstairs. I need to ask. Hey. How you doing? Good. Yeah. Yeah. So you want your beat? No. I didn't say that. Who you, said that yeah. I said that? I said that. I didn't say that. I said, are you going to show my feet? Because no, no, I had no. some of the shoes that I was going to wear. Crazy, your boy Fillionaire is in an undisclosed location, but I'm in the building. Claude Kelly is in the same location in the building. Chuck Harmony is here. Bacon from Macon is in the building. What's going on? I'm in the building, too. Well, I'm in the building. Josh is in the building. Josh is in the building. Josh the building. Josh is in the building. Josh is in the building. We got some legends. 
Legends. Some greats. Greats. Just celebrating 30 years in this business. Great. Over 30 million records sold. You feel me? Receipts. It ain't easy. Oh, no, absolutely. That's the part people don't see is that yeah. the tiring part, the hard work part, right? Yeah. You can see it in these bags. <laughs> The catalog is crazy. That catalog's no fun. So, so we gotta go back. So yes. let's go back to album one. Are you ready? Are you ready? Jay Bolin, fashion Wait, stylist, no, just, and we are here um, in Coco's world right now. She, well, it was it was our world initially, but it has become Coco's world. When she walked through the door, first of all, she rang the doorbell. We didn't hear the doorbell. Secondly, she knocked on the door. We thought it was the police. It was the fashion police. It was Coco, for God's sake, okay? So she's in her look right now that we have. I don't know if you can see it or not. We don't really want you to see it. But just know it's gonna be super dope. Um, I have some inspiration. Me passing my phone really fast. I'm gonna show you some inspiration. Open the door. Let's see what happens here. Hi, baby. And look Ooh. who's in the building. Oh, look who's in the building. What's up, guys? I'm the one who's vlogging right now. Oh, you can't see my shoes. This is dope. Is this your sleeves back? Oh, black. And look. Look at this is our other fashion police right here. I cannot wait to see what you're gonna wear. Yeah, so whole team, whole squad is in the building right now. Lots of fun times, okay? Clothes everywhere, shoes everywhere. Fun. Alright. You going to bed? Yeah. Yeah. All right. And I'm going to wear a little bra. Like a oh, God. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go, Jay. What a long day. What a long day. Oh, man. Has been crazy long. Yesterday was long, too, because I was at the barbershop for hours. And then um, from the barbershop, we went to get something to eat. But today, I went shopping. And from shopping, I had to come back here. Wait, what did I do? Because my mind has just went blank. Oh. I went shopping, then I went to eat at the Cheesecake Factory, and from there, I came back here. I'm like, what? I had to do the podcast, and then I had to go. I just came from a fitting, and um, I like what I got on. I don't know. This hair could make anything look good. Just anything. Just, I don't know if this is the same thing. It makes anything look good. Tomboy chic look. So... I don't know what is what. So I'm 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 excited about tomorrow. We're being honored, like I said. And we're gonna have fun. I got to see I saw Alan Thick. No, I'm lying. She's named Robin Thick. I saw Robin Thick in the um lobby. I don't think he might be doing a tribute her. I don't know who's doing a tribute to SW. But we'll see. And I'll keep y'all posted. This hotel is lit. So my everybody's in here. I don't see Anthony Hamilton. I saw Raz B. I wonder if he's singing to somebody. In the lobby. I saw the Hamiltons in the lobby. I saw Beverly Crawford in the lobby. Y'all know who that is? Church folk, y'all should know. Melvin Williams from the Williams Brothers in the lobby. This hotel is lit. I get to see my sister tomorrow. La Asha. She's doing a um, tribute to Evelyn Champagne King. But overall, today was a good day. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. You know, I got my peoples with me. I'm excited. <laughs> Like a black ballerina, black princess. <laughs> <laughs> this is more of a choker. Okay. That was a little more. Uh, Come on, blues. Yep. Oh, yeah. Did I snap the back of your neck, Yes, Colta. <laughs> this 
sure this thing probably will come off mid show. Ah! Oh no, it's gonna come down. I just gotta get it tight to, to do it. It's gonna come down. It's dramatic. <laughs> you know what, don't you? Ah! Well, after a long night, tonight was amazing. Cry, I didn't cry, even cry, get. Cry, baby. I didn't get no videos of me in my nice attire, my Cinderella skirt. I didn't do nothing, y'all. It was just an emotional night. I cried like a fool. That tribute to SWV. I'm all ready. Latoya Luckett, she was the host. And her words that she said about us just really touched me. And then when, ooh, give me some light. Then we started the tribute and, um, who came out first? Queen Naja and Jacquees. Queen Naja and Jacquees came out first and they sang, you're always on my mind. Now, <laughs> you see, I, I'm a real bitch. And when I'm wrong, I can admit I'm wrong. Queen Naja came out there Larry and was Reed just- was there? Who? Larry Reed. Yes, he was. I saw him right in the front. Queen Naja came out there and she was like, I, yeah, I basically, I'm gonna show Miss Coco something cause she said that I was boring or whatever I said in that video that um, some years ago, baby. Queen Nyjah did her damn thing. She sang her butt off. I couldn't even, I just was like, damn. <laughs> and Jacquees is my baby. I love Jacquees. I, that's just my baby. And he knows I'm always on his page talking to him. He's such a sweetheart. They killed you always on my mind. I ain't never heard nobody sing that. And you know, I was a little salty because I wanted my son up there to sing the song to me. But baby, Jacquees did his thing. Queen Nyjah. I had to apologize to Queen Nyjah. I said, I am sorry for what I said, honey. She was like, oh, no, no, no. She did her thing. She hit every run. I mean, the girl can sing. I was wrong. And I'm woman enough to admit when I'm wrong. That's just me. I'm a real honest chick. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, Queen Aja, I'm a fan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you did that. Can't say nothing else about it. She was so nice. She's so sweet. Because I don't know if it was me and um Queen, Queen Aja said about me. I'm like, girl, get out my face. But she wasn't like that at all. She was so nice. She was so sweet. And yeah, I'm sorry. Then they had a trio come out. Seven, Lumo, Shalea, the girl from Clark Sisters movie, baby. They did they damn singing. They was SWV. That was, that made my night. Y'all, I start crying. I was crying when Queen, Queen Elijah and um, Jackie Queese came out. I was crying so bad. By the time it was time for us to go up in the Septo Award, I couldn't even get my speech. I had written a whole speech out. I didn't even look at the speech. I was crying so bad. I just couldn't. I was so emotional. I was so full of every time I heard them scream for SWV, it just made me cry because I've been through a lot. You know, people always overlook us. They don't always treat us the best. They always take SWV as a joke. And you know, we've sold, sold 30 million records, bitch. But they still treat us like we didn't sell nothing. Thing. and that just always hurt my feelings so tonight when we were up there and we was just getting so much love missy elliott showed us so much love i just was crying i could not i couldn't control myself i was like if i cry any hard i'm probably gonna faint i got a migraine it was a lot but it was great so black music honors this made my night. This is one of the best night. We have had an amazing year, you know, and since being on Queens of R&B, it's just continuing to go up and up and up. And so, you know, I'm in a good place. You know what I'm saying? I'm in a great place. Tonight was good. J. Michael was there. He was looking good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My sister Tamaya was there. She was looking good. SWV was looking good. I forgot to think SWV. I was crying so well. They know my heart. They know my heart. Tremaine Hawkins was there. She was one of my idols, you know growing up and yeah it was just great and so tomorrow we are headed to the bronx we got a street named after us we're being inducted into the bronx hall of fame and so y'all stay tuned yeah bye so i'm at my spot my favorite spot in the airport burger king I'm headed to DC to sing for one of the Pride shows. And I have a special guest that I'll be bringing out tonight. First letter in his name is Jack. <laughs> Burger King, come on and endorse me, honey, because I come here all the time. Why do you always
always like get because. weird when the camera is like you. Because with Jay at? Girl, I have not seen Jay. <laughs> Just got off stage. I was out here for a Pride event. Had J. Michael come out and perform with me. He did his little set. I'm not, I'm not gonna say little because I hate when people go like, you're little, this and that. No, he did his set. He did his thing. My baby can dance. He can dance. But yeah, Jalen came out. I, I just realized I was whispering. Like, what am I whispering for? And he did the damn thing, you know? And I was so proud of him. They showed me so much love. They showed J. Michael so much love. It was really nice. I love being on stage with my my kid but honey it's three o'clock in the morning i don't party like this no more i was tired and i gotta get up i gotta be downstairs at 8 a.m to catch my flight back to va but you know i'm a true i've been doing this for a long time a long time but yeah let me, let me tell y'all something on my way here i'm i'm y'all know i'm bipolar so my mind be like all over me all over the place and right now I'm like kind of in a manic situation. I'm trying to come down, but I it ain't coming down fast enough. So I'm y'all gonna stick with me and go all over the place. So yeah, I was just talking about the club. We did that. But when I was at TSA and I was on my way here today, TSA worker pissed me off. His name was, I think he said his name was JR. JR, a little short, dark skin, not cute thing. And you know, y'all be taking your job real serious. Don't take it that serious that you feel like you can disrespect me because at the end of the day, it ain't going to go like that. You know, my, I kept going off and all I asked him was, what, what is it? Tell me what is it? Why I keep going up? Just come through. Who the fuck you talking to? Excuse me. Pardon me, French. Who the freak are you talking to? I asked you a question. You could answer me back. That's it. You TSA. I talk to the real manager. Or just go home if you don't like your job. You got to be rude and disrespectful because I wasn't being rude and disrespectful to you, JR, in Norfolk, Virginia Airport. And that's my favorite airport. I love my airport. I like a lot of the workers that work there, but he must be new because he had a little funky attitude and I ain't like that. Check yourself, JR, because that, that was uncalled for. And I knew I wasn't wrong. You know, I be trying to check myself like, was I overreacting? But I wasn't because flight attendant was behind me and he, he jammed her up over little petty stuff and she was rolling her eyes and she was giving him the business. And it was so funny because Troy was like, he's holding up the flight crew. I hope that ain't our flight crew. And wouldn't you know it, it was our flight crew. And she was so feisty. She was funny when she was feisty. On a plane, somebody, the man was drinking and he gave her the cup and she was like, and what you want me to do with that? That was funny. She was joking. It, it was funny though, it was funny. But yeah, UTSA workers, if you don't like your job, get another one. Cause that attitude stuff is not for, for everybody. You don't need to act like that. If somebody asks you a question, you can just answer them back don't try to throw your authority around because i don't care about that and i'm trying to be at the level where i'm not gonna argue with you i'm just gonna write you up i'm learning i'm doing better yeah i'm in this bathroom because the light looks so nice this, my arm's getting tired though i'm getting tired i got my pajamas on i ain't even show you how to room but i am having problems with my voice the devil is busy because I got to get ready to go on tour and how the hell am I going to tour? So I got to go see a specialist because this throat of mine is trying to act up. Y'all know how to pray. Pray for me. Pray for a sister because I'm going through it right now. So I just trying to find a specialist. You see, I don't jump to the next subject already, didn't I? This is how I get. This is how, this is part of my little, um, I call it illness, but it is what it is. This is part of what I go through. We'll be having a conversation and I would change the subject about 10 times. But if you stick with me, we good. If you can't, just learn how to stick with me. It's too late. I'm getting ready to go to bed, but I just wanted to to share about my night because it was a good night. It was a good night. Jay Michael, he, I was so proud of him. See, I'm going to change the subject again. All right, I'm out of here. I'll catch y'all in the AM maybe. Those are the switches. <laughs>